Captain's Log, Stardate 08052024. Greetings goblins and welcome to Elder Goblin Games. This video is going to be a bit different than the ones I usually make. I wanted to just take a minute and talk about why I started doing YouTube in the first place and what this channel exists for. Number one, first and foremost, this idea of evergreen tabletop role-playing game advice. When I first started in the hobby, there were a lot of channels out there like WebDM, for instance, which is now dead, that really used to give you these great tips, tricks, and ideas for games like Dungeons & Dragons. And not just D&D, but for really all role-playing games. But I've seen a lot of those channels die out, or they've sort of shifted to start talking about things like news and drama and focusing on just the big two games, meaning D&D and Pathfinder, which I have no problem with. I love those games from time to time. I just want to see other games boosted. And I don't say that to disparage any of these dungeon tubers. A lot of them I really respect, and their videos are what I cut my teeth on before I ever started playing games like D&D. Which brings me to my second reason for starting this channel. I really wanted to boost independent role-playing games. I started to say this at the beginning of all my videos, and I'm really using the term independent very loosely here, which may bother some people, but I'm not talking about being backed by a Fortune 500 company or how many employees you have on your roster. What I'm really focusing on is games that don't get as much screen time as the other big two in the hobby, Pathfinder and D&D 5e or soon to be D&D 5.5. And sure, I know there are some channels that do this, but for every one channel that talks about games other than the big two, there are a hundred other dungeon tubers that just focus on D&D. This isn't to diminish what they do. I look up to a lot of those guys. I love their channels, but I think that there's so many great role-playing games out there that don't get a big enough spotlight. I wasn't seeing as much as I would have liked to see on YouTube, so I started my own channel in order to boost these games. I think I just heard a bear, and I'm gonna keep moving. It's funny, each time that I do a video where I talk about these games that I really like that aren't getting as much attention, I get comments like, man, you've convinced me, I really do need to try Dragon Bane. And to me, that's a success. That means I've done what I set out to do with this channel. And reason number three, I wanted to see more sense of community, positivity, levity within this space. More people talking about things that bring us together and less of these things that kind of tear us apart. There's a lot of hashtags and subcultures within the tabletop community. And while it's all fine and good to have these sort of labels, they don't really mean much to me. Sometimes I even use OSR, NSR, whatever suits the topic of my video. That's because I'm trying to pull more people in. In fact, you'll probably see some clickbaity thumbnails from me from time to time with the D ampersand D logo in it. But it's not really because I'm talking about D&D. I'm talking about things that work in just about any fantasy role-playing game. But I do want to bring people in who might not have heard about these lesser games like Cairn and Knave and Mouse Ritter, even Dragon Bane. I know Free League is kind of like number three in the running at this point, but still. There's some people who've never heard of it. I have a little sign off that I do in every video and I've never really broken that down. So I'm gonna do that right now. Number one, make mistakes. There are plenty of dungeon tuber channels out there that have a very polished feel or live plays that might make you feel like I'm not quite the actor. I don't have the voice or whatever. And I'm here to say that these are all games that we play for fun. We're gonna make mistakes. It's gonna be messy, but just roll with it. It's most likely you're doing this with your group of friends for your fun at the table. Most of us aren't doing a podcast. It doesn't need to have this polish. We don't have to be right all the time on both the GM side of the screen and for the players. Mistakes are going to be made and that's fine. Embrace them, especially if they're newer games. Number two, choose chaos. This isn't only the Goblin Credo. But this is the idea of embracing what happens during your game at the table. Sometimes we as game masters have this idea of the way that things should go or the sort of like story we're building. And I don't think ultimately that's super important. I think what's important is being present with the game that's happening at your table, seeing what your players are excited about and just going with that. When the dice say no, take things in a different direction. Pay attention to the things your players are interested in 
and maybe put those clues over there instead. Whatever happens at your table and when the dice settle, go along with that, embrace the chaos. Number three, last and certainly not least, have fun. I think sometimes we forget that that's the purpose of all this. There's so much advice out there, including my own, that we start to feel like we have to play a game a certain way. We have to make sure certain elements or implements are in each session. And it's just not true. At the end of the day, this is a hobby, and it's a hobby about having fun. Let your imaginations run wild, dive into the story, be immersed with the friends and group that surrounds you. Don't worry about what a bunch of us are saying on YouTube. Just enjoy what you're doing, whatever game that is. I, I realize that I'm saying this on the heels of a video I just put out where I literally roast every tabletop game I can think of, but that video is actually also about bringing attention to different games within the Dungeon Tuber sphere, so whatever. Okay, I think that's enough rambling. I think I said all the things I wanted to say. I just wanted to get back out here in the woods where I started all of this and really clear my head and think about what I'm doing here on YouTube. So yeah, if you enjoy what I do on YouTube, make sure to like this video, hit the bell icon, hit all so you don't have to only get what the YouTube robots want you to have. And, uh, you know, hit subscribe. It costs you nothing, and it costs me everything. You stay with me, Lonnie. I need all the heroes I can get. All right, and thanks for watching this weird, dumb, rambly video where I walk through the woods and make a fool of myself, not in all of my goblin clothes. Speaking of videos and advice, I'm thinking of doing a series where I pull a bunch of different role-playing games and I find the rule I really like the most from it and talk about that. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this sort of vlog style video and I might do more of them in the future. It is a nice change from my usual videos with all the editing and things. For every 12 to 15 minute video I make like that, I probably spend about four hours in the editing room. Thanks for watching guys. We just hit a thousand goblins strong, which is incredible to me. I, I'm genuinely blown away that anyone cares what another neckbeard on the internet has to say about tabletop games. Thank you guys. Hey, future Jorben here. I wanted to highlight a few other dungeon tubers in the space that are doing great things. If you want more review focused content, make sure to check out DM Tales as well as Dave Thomivore. I think they both give fair and honest reviews. Oh, and last but certainly not least, Shadow Dark just swept the innies and received best product of the year. I'm definitely going to be doing a few videos on that in the future, so stay tuned for Shadow Dark content. And also because of that, here's a fun little Shadow Dark jingle for you. Enjoy! <laughs> Shadows are dark in the dungeon. The shadows are dark in the forest. The shadows are dark. Take heart and embark, for the road is darker yet ahead. The journey is long and untrodden. The path is all but forgotten. So take heart, face your quest, for your metal they'll test, and a hero you'll be at journey's end. A hero you'll be at journey's end.